I'm back from a little holiday break, only a weekend away, but it does feel like a lot longer. And believe it or not, I have that, not holiday blues, but that kind of, oh, back to work kind of feel. And there's only one way to combat that, and that is to dive straight in. As most of you will know, I am following a fitness plan, trying to get myself back into some kind of healthy, wealthy mind and body set. Is that even a real thing, body set? I don't know. I fell off the plan. I did try and keep it under calories. Did a little bit of a workout, but not as much. And I've done no work at all, apart from a little bit of sourcing, but we all love a bit of sourcing and that's fun. So I feel all mixed up, jumbled, and completely like a broken jigsaw puzzle. What the fuck are these analogies? So I'm gonna dive straight in today and just get moving, get some stuff photographed. I've almost cleared this rail. Once this rail is cleared, I'm gonna put another shelf up just there. Because my plan with clothing going forward I don't need to, I'm not doing whatnot anymore. Not like that anyway. My plan when I get clothing in the future, just get it home, list it. But yeah, I'm feeling all out of sorts at the moment. So I just need to dive in. I've had my breakfast from the plan. I'm gonna have my lunch on the plan. I'm gonna to go to the gym tonight. And I'm gonna get some work done. I've picked some sales that I wanna show you that I've had over the weekend. So we get those out of the door as well. And I've got a comment that I wanna address and also a counter argument that's just been put to me by my good friend, Ricky. He's made me think about something. Let's get it. That's smooth, wasn't it? We'll go through the sales first because there isn't too many, to be honest with you. Not that many at all. Oh, and also, the issue that I was having with my lighting last time, I believe a few of you actually mentioned, I can't remember the names, a few of you said it was probably the reflective jacket that I had on, that North Face, messing with the lens, and I think it was. I think you're right. So I appreciate the heads up. I won't be wearing that again on video. I just took Ada's to school. I'm about to take it off now. As always, we will start off on Vinted, and we have sold Pikachu my voice oh my goodness we've sold pika for seven pounds and 77 pence this is going to ashley ashley sent me a message that says love the videos and how down to earth and clearly hard working you are inspired me to start reselling clothes as a side hustle looking forward to getting back to the cherry shop hunting around my local area i love getting messages like that it's very strange to feel like i am inspiring people and i do need to start becoming more one with that and understand that the channel is growing and i'm having an impact mostly for the best Ashley, appreciate that, mate, and good luck on your journey. For £8, we have sold the Nike Total 90 t-shirt. Early 2000s or mid-2000s, this one. Paid a quid, I think. No, actually, what was it? Three quid from a charity shop. Sold it for a nice little fiver on top. This is a really nice little sale now. Rohan ladies' jacket. Quite a tall one. I think it's called a safari jacket or something. Hilltop jacket. Paid £10 for this one, or £8 from a charity shop. No more than a tenner. Sold for £22.22. And 22 pence. Sold some jeans. These are by a brand called Curve Appeal. Now, unfortunately, I have pre-packed them in the box. I can't really get them out for you. But they're just jeans with like a nice elasticated waistband. Just for that smart look, but with the comfort that you get. Or that you don't get with standard jeans. Clearance, £4.40. I think I paid three quid. Same thing with these. They're packed up, but they are a nice pair of Brasher walking trousers. Brasher in boots is where you get the most money. Their footwear and their walking wear is strong. The trousers, not so much. Even though I sold these as a bargain price, because you know I like to do some deals. I'm about turnover, not maximisation, unless it's a really rare item. But these have sold for £7.65. I wouldn't have paid more than four quid for them. Hopefully less. 765 downward numbers cheers ricky i knew you wouldn't say no to that price keep up the good work buddy love from daz and sarah avid watchers daz and sarah i appreciate you both quality people i feel like i'm already breaking that kind of work shy work anxiety that i was having i think i've put in so much pressure on myself because i knew i was coming back from a holiday I had to get back on the food plan, back on the fitness plan, back on the gym, back to work, back to listing, back to photography, back to packing, back to shipping, back to filming. And I was just like, oh, God. And there'll be people out there in much worse situations that will be like, well, think yourself lucky you get to, you know. I worked my way up to this position and I, I'm very aware of how blessed I am to have a job like mine. But it's still, just because there's people who have bigger problems out there with than you, doesn't mean your problem isn't a problem. Do you know what I'm saying? Amazon just drove past, I made an order with them, so it's not getting delivered to that, that's weird. Maybe it wasn't them, I don't know. Yeah, just because somebody else has a problem doesn't mean that your problem is not good enough. I can recommend it is a healthy practice to try and put things into perspective though, with things like, there are worse people out there. That is a good practice to have, but 
we all have issues, you know what I mean? And for £5.55 over on Vinted, the last one now is this super dry hoodie. I picked this up for like 50p from the 50p guy at the car boot sale. And this is sold to Asti, ah, me YouTube member. You not bastard for making Tiki Mask wonky. I hope you remember this. Oh, I look like a right TWAT now. I said, I remember. My pleasure. Glad I could support you even more. Shame on the Chelsea. Shame the Chelsea shirt has a swear word on the back or I'd have snagged it. So I've got a Chelsea shirt with... I've got a Chelsea shirt with number 19 mount on the back. But he went somewhere else, didn't he? People don't like that. I don't really follow football. I couldn't give a toss. But there are people out there that do. So, Steve, I appreciate you, mate, regardless. Thank you so much, mate. As always, I'll get those ones packed up and then we'll come back for eBay. Again, there's only a few on eBay as well. Done. Right, eBay. Don't remember seeing any notes on any orders, so there's no subscriber shout-outs on these ones. For £5.55, all in, we've sold the Schleck Donker. Owes me nothing, so I'll make about a pound after postage. I don't mind that. £19.54, we've sold these Oxello blades. Roller skates, not blades. I paid £3 for these. Can't argue with that, can you? It's going to be a 2 to 5 kilo parcel, but £3 making about a tenner after fees. <laughs> Lovely. Dyson head that I was hoping was going to be for my vacuum, but it wasn't. We've sold this one for £40. Somebody messaged me saying, don't worry, mate, you'll still get 20 for it. I was thinking, I think they might be mistaken for a different head because I knew, I knew what it was worth. But yeah, little Dyson vacuum head. This one is the quick release turbo head. Keep your eye out for these sort of things. It's never been used, ever. £40, I paid £2, I think. Dyson cleaning kit that I paid 50 pence for. You've got the spray, the carpet granules and the like pet brush. I might include that one as well. I've got a second one here that... I haven't listed yet. I might just include that for free in the parcel. I want to see what it weighs first. If it's under a kilo, I won't. If it's pushing one to two, but not quite two, then I will. That sold for £30. £21 and 24 pence. Sold this mid-century glass serving tray. Nice little leather handles. Uh, little feet on the bottom. I'm guessing they're going to use it for serving coffee and nothing else. Say hello to my little friend. Just guessing, of course. £13 and 19 pence is this Pyrex Amish bowl. It's got like the Amish blueprint over it, but it's not in the best condition, as in print wise. There's a couple of spots, where are they? Just there, where it sort of faded away a little bit. Could have got maybe a few quid more, but £13.24. Paid like a pound for that, I think, if that. And for £10, all in, I've had this for absolutely ages now. Ages, ages, ages. Is this like art glass tray thing. I've had it for ages. I just cannot, I couldn't shift it. Got all the keywords in there. Blue art glass, dish, bulb, mid-century, MCM, interior design, trinket plate. I didn't put Murano because I don't know if it is or not. I suppose I could have put like Murano, like Murano style or something like that. Maybe I could have just put Murano regardless, but some of these I've got a really good deal or I've just cleared some stock that was sitting around for ages. And that is all of my eBay sales. So not a lot. I haven't listed much recently. My eBay listings have dropped down to... Vroom, practically zero not really zero that's about 195 something like that vintage on about 60 and i plan to get loads more up this coming week but i just yeah just wanted to like crack on with it really i feel a lot better now even though it's only been like 30 minutes of me doing all this actually doing some kind of work stuff i feel like i've found a flow again so once i've got these packed up got my vintage ones done that's all my postage done i can just like kick back and be like ah, right we've done that it's done and i've only been away since friday <laughs> It's Monday. I mean, we have that dreaded go back to work feeling, most of us do, but my advice is just to dive head first, straight in. Or if you can't manage that, pick one task and just do that task. And then if you can, pick another one. Especially if you're in reselling. I mean, reselling is hard work. I don't care what anybody says. It's not the hardest job in the world. It's not the easiest either. There's harder jobs out there and there is easier jobs out there as well. Everything's relative, but everything is also the same. But I had this comment earlier about reselling, actually. It said, like, something like, I'll put a screenshot up if I could be bothered to find it. It was something to do with, like, you re this is on YouTube, so obviously one of my videos. Long and short, don't you realise that you lot are messing it up for yourselves and causing all these price hikes and stuff in the charity shops and the car boots and whatever else? 15 years ago, things were different. Yeah, they were. Vinted wasn't around. eBay wasn't as popular, maybe 20 years ago. Vinted wasn't, Vinted and eBay platforms wasn't massively popular. People were buying, buying and selling between themselves, dealing amongst themselves. Market trader to market trader. 
market trader to Bob, Bob to trader. Do you know what I mean? So now these platforms actually exist. Of course, people are going to capitalize on them. And annoyingly, yes, the charity shops are as well. I honestly believe, yes, YouTube resellers have an impact on the market, but the level of impact on that is going to be minuscule. You can walk into many charity shops. In fact, test it out yourselves and say, have you ever seen people on YouTube buying and selling things? Most of them will say, no, they didn't even know it existed. I didn't know this community existed five years ago. Had no idea. Not everybody does. Not everybody who resells knows there's a reselling community out there, whether that's a charity shop. They resell auction houses, market traders, Bob and Sue from number two. Not everybody knows this community exists. So to blame resellers is a quick get out clause for your own issues, I believe. Yes, we have an impact, but it's nowhere near what you want to think it is. But hey, I'll take the blame. I don't mind. If I'm good enough to impact the market like that, I must be doing something right, eh? <laughs> Thank you everybody who's purchased something from me. This was like a nice icebreaker video to get back into things again after quite a weird little holiday as well. We had police and all sorts of stuff. I'll draw the winner for that nothing ball on the next one. All right, take care guys. Thank you so much and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. <laughs> all right, let's do some work.